champion, Matthew van der Poel, the winner of the World Cup, Tonets. And they're underway now in the centre. Matthew van der Poel looking for a really strong start. Van der Poel is incredible. It's going to take him away. Ellie is a bit up there. Sprinting his way up that steep wall. And he puts the power on through that next corner. And he looks so focused, doesn't he? Tonart second place and he's 25 seconds down already. He is on the train of Belgium. This is the battle for the silver medal. The pole wins here another world title. An exemplary display of pure gritty Yorkshire bike rider. What a finish for a rider who's under 23. Third place, the winner of the world. section and the pole having some problems van Aert almost crashing again oh straight over the bars for van Aert. Big race build up is all about two men Mathieu van der Poel and Wout van Aert Pidcock looking for an inside line to get safely through there. Little bit of a touch there off the start. Wout van Aert on the front. Good start from him as he tries to dominate. He wants to get in front of Ready. van der Poel. Two riders going clear and they are the two riders that we expected to dominate in these world championships. As van der Poel has to get off the bike and Wout van Aert's already on it. And Wout van Aert now powering his way up this bridge. This is Wout van Aert not... Oh, big crash by van der Poel. He was just giving it number two. Wout van Aert then across the line. Wout van Aert absolutely relentless so far. Van der Poel doesn't... Looks like things are starting to close up a little bit. Van der Poel is slowly but surely bringing this one back together. I'm wondering whether he has, because suddenly Matthew van der Poel is going away. He has got a puncture. That's why he's suddenly losing time. Third place now. Pidcock now has caught the group behind, and Pidcock now is getting into his stride. And Wout van Aert is slowly but surely reeling him in. Oh, he had to get off then, get back on. Van der Poel already onto the bridge. And Van Aert has had to get off the bike again. Van der Poel, not too far to go now. Wow, Van Aert looks now resigned to taking silver. Mathieu Van der Poel is going to win here in Ostend. He wears number one as the defending champion. He has defended his title with, in, with the silver medal. Ponet's now accelerating. He's had to work hard for it. He's going to take home the bronze medal. Good is that, Matthew. The bloom of the lifting. And the bloom is on the table. It is very clear like how the start is. And Van der Poel is just riding away from everybody. No one is able to go with the Flying Dutchman. Second place, and he's 25 seconds down already. Tom Pidcock is now he is on the train of Belgium. This is the battle for the silver medal. Belgian sandwich right now. Pidcock now attacks. He's had enough of the Belgians. It's exactly what he had to do. He's decided. He has gone out from the start of the race. 
and he has absolutely dominated. Hitchcock throwing a little, little style there, a little something for the fans. Um, not quite a style bar level. Uh, uh, Pitcock has never been afraid to go too oh. hard. As another good whip. Now he's got two. We haven't seen what we got. We have so Vanderpool has oh. as he throws some style. He's in second place and still throwing the the cross up and like skidding the rear wheel over that. That's Is awesome. that? I don't know if when you're in a tight battle chasing second place, that jump that face, and you're like, well, you know what I should do? I should probably throw this bike sideways right now. <laughs> and he did it. And uh, it doesn't slow you down. It's, it's the front one. It's not okay. Uh, you, uh, you don't do the showboat until the uh, finale, but I mean, a bike handler's going to bike handle. Watch Alvarado on the left, Hunsinger on the right as they kick off the 2022-23 UCI Cyclocross World Cup. It's like a great battle at the front and starting to get a little bit of competition here from Denise Benzema as well. Number four starting to move up at the tempo. Lucinda Brand starting to work her way up. It was only a matter of time before the world number one made her way into the front group and now it looks like we may be out of up here as once again Fem Van Empo steps on the gas. Ah, and you see where that gap opened up, the pavement. And if you're not a good sprinter in this group then you have to find somewhere to make that gap. Position. He has no presence given on this one. Lucinda Brand is in trouble. She looks behind her. That's never a good sign. Alvarado goes a little Around that inside. right hand turn, the youngsters really do open up the gas very, very early. Off that Val Van Aert trying to accelerate a little bit. He does not want Sven Nace to uh, race across. I watched him. He was still out as the women were coming to the start grid. And he is, if he hits the front of this race, everyone is going to go completely wild in uh, Cooksader. He first won this race in 90. And now Sven Nace has attacked Val Van Aert. I don't know if Van Aert's got a problem here because he looked down at the back wheel. Has he got it? Pu he's got a rear wheel puncture. Back here to Kevin Powles. Not quite on his top four. Went right out behind him. He's giving it everything he can. A bit of uh, Sven Nace. He doesn't want to take him to the finish line if he can. Charles Porcel, if I see Sven after this race, I'll tell him. Well, this one is one of the good ones. Kevin Powles, Lawrence Sveek. Tom, Tom Meus and so going for ready. Who is going to win this? Is it going to be Van Aert? Is it going to be Sven Nace? Van, Sven Nace was a Luro so far. We're on to the little wood section. Sven Nace now wants the corner. And he wants that one. So he does. He doesn't want to let the youngster go through this corner. Sven Nace, he looks around. He's broken the youngster. Sven Nace wins in Coxider. What a Cyclocross does not get much better than that.